Hi, this is the April 2020 uh, monthly meeting of the Key West Poetry Guild, meeting at this time um, in our backyard in Key West, Florida. My name is Rosalind Brackenbury, and um, Alan Meese and I will read a poem or two each. This is called Laundry in the Time of Coronavirus. I hang the sheets to snap on the line, peg pillowcases under the lift of blue, stretch our white sheet shirts to stiffen and bleach, to do it right, to place and pin and see each garment and sheet whiter, cleaner, as if perfection can be scrubbed into the world. <coughs> it seems to matter as it never did, to wash clothes, clean linen, remove a spot, to do just something, to have a project, if only for a day. Stopped in our tracks, we search for signs. Only the birds come, nesting, occupied. Iguanas eat the frail hibiscus flowers. We sit in time like flies in amber. Nowhere to go, no plans to make. We play board games. We cook, dance, sleep. Above us, the stars in endless space and the fattening moon. The universe moves on, carries us with it, as we try to learn again that first lost thing, simply to live in place. Thank you. Thank you, Rosalind. I'm Alan Meese. Uh, the Poetry Guild hasn't missed a monthly meeting in 47 years since it was established in 1977. And we're carrying on that tradition during this 2020 Poetry Month of April. This is called Viral Greed. The lumberjacks invade the forest and go where they shouldn't be. With tools that are made for destruction, bringing catastrophe, lumberjacks kill the forest until they've ruined it totally. One tree wouldn't be enough. They've got to have it all, suicidally, maniacally. And nihilism doesn't end by wasting one small tree. It has to be complete. It's got to go the whole nine yards before it will retreat. Witness the Florida Everglades and the cypress that were there growing a hundred feet tall in the hot, clean air. Now you won't see them taller than 30 feet. Greed decided to cut them all once the lumber frenzy started. No matter how far down the road or how hard to get them to market, the merchants killed them all. By definition, hard-hearted. So you won't see them anymore where once the tall trees stood. They've all been changed to railroad ties because they wanted wood. All the, cross all the cross ties rotted away. They should have been made of stone. It would have cost them 20 cents more to leave the trees alone. Cheap is the other side of greed. When making crap that shouldn't be, it's got to be done for free. And so they'll go on stealing, stealing from you and me. They'll cut your back to make a buck. They'll cut you like the tree. The Everglades trees were harvested, taken inappropriately. Cheap lumberjacks did their job protecting their kids adequately. They extracted the cypress from the world. Industrial, corporate, thievery. Cheaper than concrete blocks, they were sold to you and to me. A Key West shotgun shack built in 1903 was set on wood two feet tall and one feet square, cut from the heart of a cypress stand, mold resistant, but not perfectly. They're rotting into the ground now, unequally, and the floors are rolling, tipsily. Coronavirus, too, is like that. It takes what it wants, not what it needs, saying it's doing it for the children feeding on the human commodity. Too stupid to fear the end, their children will starve in a body dead. They would have lasted forever if their parents had used their head. 
the house blocks should have been made from cinders, not stolen from life, something that loved and served us well, something that used to be called a tree. Rosalind, you want to do another one? Hi, this is called Grinnell Street Rag. Uh, very new. Last night we sat in masks on broken chairs to hear the guitar player across the street <coughs> give us the old songs. Two girls came to dance. People paused on their bicycles. We sipped our wine from jars and no cars passed. This is how it used to be, we said, back in the day, when the island was still and we could play and sing and hear each other speak and sit out on the street. It's like finding an old love, we said, or someone we used to love but no longer can. Here it is, our old love, the island they call paradise, stripped now of all pretension, traffic, tourists, planes and massive ships, death ships we call them now, free of its blight, calm as the sun sets, lovely, ours again tonight. Thank you. So I'll sign us off. Thanks for attending the 2020 April Poetry Guild meeting, abbreviated for safety purposes. Keep on writing, poets. Remember, poetry will get you through times of no vaccine better than vaccine will get you through times of no poetry. Write on poetry. <laughs>